400 years ago, a tribe emigrated from Western Mongolia and came here and settled on the grasslands of the Russian steppe. They were the Kalmyks and they brought with them their own Buddhist religion and their own Kalmyk language. And today we're going to go on another language hunt and try and listen to some Kalmyk language somewhere in a village. Join me. У вас есть русское имя, а нету почему у вас нету халмикские имя? Ну потому что как раз я родился, когда мои родители приехали с Сибири, когда нас высылали. Понял. А, ну и они привыкли к русским именам. Ну там да. мода была такая, мода. Да. Так, вы имеете в виду, что Сталин сказали ваши родители да. по отцу, я не знаю, как на, на русском, ага. но сказали, что Сибирь будет. Да, да, да. мы с вами Сибирь. 43. Да, в 42 году это было. В 42 году Сибирь. Ну как, они, ну как, пособники фашизма были, да. типа такого. Да. Ну как и везде. Да, да, да. Ну они выслали весь народ, видите. Когда ваши родители вернулись из uh, Сибири? В 1956 50... году. А когда были Хрущев и да, после, да. когда Сталин умирал? Да, да, да. А когда вы родились? Да? Я в 60-м году здесь родился. 60, да? Да. Так вы помните прекрасно советский власть? Конечно. Спасибо, давай. очень вежливая а, компания, ага. очень понравилась. Ага. Спасибо за музыку. Ага, давай. Давайте, счастливо, счастливо. очень приятно. Да. До свидания. American truck. American truck here in Russia. Wow. Здравствуйте, от центр города туда, да? Центр. Рынок или что-то? Да, в центр. Вот сейчас будете идти прямо, прямо вам в центр. Там будет э, изгорь. Там калиточка, через калиточку тут пройдете. Здесь будет с этой стороны администрация. О, все там почта, тогда. Потом мимо почты и в центр. Как Спасибо раз. вам большое. Спасибо. Спасибо. Хорошего дня. Good morning. Open your Google Maps. Because I'm in the town of Yashnul, which is um, about 80 kilometers from the capital, Elista. Apparently, the Ewok language that George Lucas used in Star Wars was based on the Kalmyk language. Could it sound so weird and strange? So, um, let's see if we can hear some. The other thing is, I've got to get back into the capital city by four o'clock, so I'm going to go to a throat singing uh, performance. So, um, let's check out Yashkul. <laughs> wow, check it out. How beautiful. Yashkul, Kalmykia. Wow, new republic, new village, new language. Let's do it. Now, I don't want to start off the video all negative, but I've got to say, Yashkul, it's a bit rough. Check out how people live here. These little old buildings made of brick. I mean, they're not separate individual houses, they're apartments. People live upstairs and downstairs in these. Whoa. They've got old chimneys coming out. This really is the um, Diki Zapad the wild west of Russia. I'm in the middle of absolutely bloody nowhere. Let's get to the center of town, see what it's like. Crikey. I've just discovered the saddest thing I've ever seen. An old Soviet mosaic, obviously, been taken from somewhere, is now just in front of a, in front of a wooden shit house. That was obviously taken from some beautiful bus stop or something, look at it. Здравствуйте. 
Не ну, калмыки, мы я... аэраты. Аэраты? Это другое, это разница есть? Не, аэраты мы нация называется. Понятно, аэрат, извиняюсь, извиняюсь. А вика... 100 евро хоть дайте. 100 евро? 100 евро? Ну, 50 евро. Евро хоть... или рубль? Рубль. На, так, так. Возьмите. Это, это, спасибо. На, пожалуйста. О. Просто значит, говорю. У вас саму Англии, Лондон? Ну, возле Лондон. Маленький город возле Лондона. Манчестер? Брайтон. А, Брайтон. Это неизвестный. Манчестер не знаю. Давайте, это холодно. Да. Давайте, да. очень приятно. О, oh, man. Guys, listen. My biggest concern today is not the Kalmyk language. It's the wind ruining this video for me and for you. I hope you can bear with it. There's nothing I can do about it. I've got on my camera a wind muffler, but the wind here just blows off the step. I'm in the town's memorial to the soldiers who fell in battle in the Afghan war. They're called Afghansi, people who fought in Afghanistan. Here's the memorial, an Afghan soldier and the kind of Rambo-like helicopter up there. And when I look down here at the faces, the pictures of the people who died, Mr. Baraev, Mr. another Mr. Baraev, Bayrov, they're Mongolian faces, they're Asiatic faces. We think of the Soviet army of being made up of people who were blonde haired, blue eyed, typical um, Slavic look. But people from all over the republics of Russia came to fight for the Soviet army. Whether that was the Second World War, or like here, the Afghansi who fought in the Afghan war. Our period says, Om Mani Padme Hum. The Buddhist recital prayer. It feels strange, but um, yeah, this is it. This is the only Buddhist republic, or the only majority Buddhist religious place in all of Europe. Here we have the Buddha. And here, just literally 20 meters from Buddha, stands Lenin. When the communists came to this land, they tried to wipe out Buddhism. They said it was an outdated superstition from the past. But the people, the Kalmyk people, they um, secretly, in their yurts and in their newly formed Soviet apartments, they continued secretly practicing their religion. Buddhism didn't die out, and then the 1990s, after the fall of the Soviet Union, it, um, it regrew, it sprouted again, Buddhism. And now everywhere you look is Buddhist architecture and Buddhist people. Here we have a sign, or rather a memorial, to the people who died because of the repression of Stalin. The Kalmyks were accused of collaborating with the invading German forces. And so after 1942, they were exiled to the waste of Siberia, to Kazakhstan, only to return after the death of Stalin and when Khrushchev came to power. Here we have a Dom Kultury, a house of culture that the Soviets built in every village. Let's see if we can go inside and have a little look and see what the inside of a Dom Kultury looks like now. When you're trying to be quiet and that happens. Here is some Mongolian writing. Kalmyk script. place feels untouched since whenever. We're adventurizing in the Soviet Union. Narodny Ensemble. Vash Narodny Ensemble. Ничего не сделали сегодня? Сегодня выходной. А Понятно. Теперь бы интересно слышать ваша музыка или что-то. Ну ладно, тогда. Спасибо. She wasn't the friendliest, was she? All right, let's get back onto the street.
at the end of the Soviet Union, they started to show American TV programs in Russian TV, Baywatch, Knight Rider, Beverly Hills 90210. And the people, no doubt, that live here, or live then, thought that one day they'd also be living that Hollywood lifestyle. But 30 years later, look how they're living. In bankrupted, destroyed towns in the middle of nowhere. No wonder many people reminisce about the Soviet Union. I'm being followed by three dogs. What do you want? Are you friendly? Hello. Don't give me rabies. Hello. Are you a friendly one? Hello. Hey, yeah. Hello, mate. Oh, you are a friendly one. Oh, there you go. What about your mates? Are they friendly? Hey, whoa. Are you friendly? I'm not sure. Please don't bite me in my um, knackers. Wow, what a place. On the horizon, I see watchtowers and barbed wire. I think I've just discovered a gulag. Let's go a little bit closer if we can. I need to be careful, careful with my camera. But let's go and check it out. It could be an actual gulag. Well, what do you know? It actually was a gulag. Um, I was stopped by the guards. I was pretty much arrested. Um, <laughs> fortunately, they didn't find my camera. Um, but I was put in a taxi and told to piss off out the town and get back to Elista. And this is where I am now. So I didn't hear any uh, Kalmyk language. Total disaster. But we're going to the concert. Maybe that'll be fun. Let's see. <laughs> the end of the film from Kalmykia. It's not been the best. I haven't done Kalmykia proud. We didn't hear the language in the village. I went to the wrong place. It's windy. I always like to leave a republic feeling that I've kind of shown some nice people, some friendly people. And the people here are very friendly and very nice. Um, but I just didn't manage to capture any on film. That's my, um, that's my fault, not theirs. Um, and so I hope that I'll return to Kalmykia, um, maybe when it's a little bit warmer, maybe in the um, spring or something, and um, I can show you the real culture of Kalmykia, because it really is a unique place here in Europe. So um, yeah, sometimes it happens like that. All right, guys, until next time. Goodbye from the amazing, the freaky, the little bit weird, but really fascinating Kalmykia. Mm -hmm.